<laughs> Alright, what is up guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be reviewing and going over my friend Elliot right here. Uh, somewhat custom AR, it's not really custom but he has added a lot of stuff to it. So we're just going to be going over that and showing you, maybe give you some ideas if you're looking at building your own and what he thinks of this and what exactly it is. So let's get into the video. So, wait, the intro's rolling right now. The intro's rolling? Okay. Yeah, it just rolled. Hypothetically, it just rolled. I'll get you another hand. <laughs> okay. Alright, so Elliot, why don't you tell us, first of all, what kind of gun is it? What'd you all buy? Right. Okay. So, give us the details. What I did was I got a Palmetto State build kit with a the Chamber 556. The upper. Is a one in seven twist. It has a carbine link gas block, free flow handguard, M lock. It's the lightweight, so there's no rail across the whole top, which I, I like. My scope wouldn't be able to sit on it. There was a rail on top of it. Shout out low scope mounts. Also, real quick, just in case there's any scrubs out there, you said this was a five five six. Mm -hmm. Can it also shoot two two three? Yeah, five five six can shoot two two three. However, however, 223 can't shoot 556 unless it's a 223 wild and then it can shoot 556, but that's that's a whole different video. <laughs> Tell them about what you've put on it cuz you've added a lot of stuff to this gun. Um, yeah, I have. So, first of all, let's talk about the optic. The optic is a Buckmaster 2 412. It uh it's a hunting scope, which right now it's in the hunting build. We're getting ready to go on a a trip here within the next week. Get a video on that too. Get a bunch of videos. We're I wasn't gonna tell them. No, oh, I was gonna like leave it in suspense. Well, I'll cut that part out. Okay, we'll cut that out. All right. So this optic, my hunting setup, really good, really quick, clear. Um, about one hundred and fifty dollars. If you don't want to go ahead and just push it for the Vortex, which is about 200-ish, I think, on the same price. Yeah, a little over 200. Good substitute. Recommend it. This will eventually probably go on a different gun. Uh, for my 5.56, I'd preferably have, like to have irons on it and a red dot, just because it's mainly a play gun, more than anything. Second thing I've done to this rifle, not really done, added on to is this this forward grip here this angled grip which is an afg magpul went for the angled because i didn't really like the straight up vertical grips i thought they were very uh bulky got in the way they weren't really natural for my shooting position the way i hold the gun so the uh really like the grip how about how much does that cost i believe i got it for 30 bucks i might be mistaken there's two versions there's the afg1 and the afg2 and of course two is more expensive and it's a little smaller i think they run about the same though around 30 bucks don't quote me on that but it's about that very good there's it's not really attached to much i got a small m lock piece and it it only it's only being held right here and it, it hasn't came loose or anything while shooting, so I'm really pleased with it. Third thing, all right, I have a CV Life bipod from Amazon. Best seller. Best seller at the moment. We don't know. Three inch to nine inch. Three to nine? Three to nine. It's three to nine. So it extends. This is the bipod, unextended. Hunter, will you pop the... Boop. Then it just... Pops on out. Really quick press of the buttons. Nothing hard at all. Simple bipod. Does what it needs to do. Nothing fancy. Nothing. I think they're special. pretty cheap too, aren't they? The, 19 the bucks. Amazon ones. Yeah. 19 bucks. So, I highly recommend this one. If you're going, if you're not, if you're not a professional shooter, if you just want to have some fun, it I, works. I, it works. Very that, good. Very good. Works very good. Fourth thing, this slink. So. I got a Magpul MS1 sling. Very nice sling. Easy adjustable. 
it it's very thick, very durable. I went for the two point sling because it's as of right now it's in a hunting rifle kind of setup. Um, Why didn't you go with the one? Because at first he was really wanting a one point, and he kept telling me about it, but he went with this one. So the the real thing on the one point sling, it's I guess more of a tactical sling. It, it'll it'll swing freely with this. I can put it around. I can tighten it up, and it'll hug my body real close. So I can throw it over my back. I can walk with it. I can get on a four wheeler with it. It's very, I guess, travel friendly. With the one point sling, it'll only attach at one point, and um, it likes to bounce on your body. And I don't really want that for right now. Probably the best part, of, my favorite part about this gun is, I mean, just because I'm cheap, but how much was this gun? So, the gun itself, not any of the attachments, the whole, like, what, you, what did the, you pay for the gun? The rifle itself was, it came in at $400. I got everything with it, as in, like, the nice I got, got the nice stock, I got the Magpul grip, it came with a pair of Magpul iron sights, which are a hundred dollars or a hundred bucks in our all stores. Palmetto State really came through and uh, it shoots really good for the price point. We were shooting about a one group, one in MOA with it the other day. Yeah, at, a, at about a hundred yards. So, yeah, we have another video kind of coming out about that about how, how much ammo does matter. And we were honestly kind of sad because we thought that this gun just wasn't good quality because we couldn't get it to shoot good at all. But we found out it was actually the ammo does make a difference, a really big difference. So that'll be another video. But so far, we haven't had any problems with this gun. No, the best, I 110% recommend Palmetto. For, especially if you're like a first time buyer. If you've, if you've never really, I guess, dealt much with guns and you just want to get into it, you can buy a complete rifle. For like, I think it was like 450. The reason mine was so cheap is because I bought a build kit with it, and I put it together myself. So it knocks off a little bit of the price. Watching some YouTube videos, there's really nothing you can't figure no, out. No, it's it's but. very simple. You don't really need to be very mechanically inclined. A great deal and a great thing to do if you want to get into, I guess, that your AR-15. Yeah, especially because any any stores you look in, the lowest you're probably going to find one's 500, and mm -hmm. that's that's bottom line. No matter where you go, deals or anything, it's about as cheap as you can find them. And then I just got an AR-10 off of Palmetto, so we're going to see how that holds up. It just came in a few days ago. And another good thing about the price point in Palmetto, this free float handguard. I mean, you can't get them for under 500 dollars. No. All of them have just the heat shield, you know? Right. So the free flow handguard, it's about $100 if you buy it just out in the open. But if you get the kit, it comes with it. Or if you just go with Palmetto, because they just have amazing deals on rifles. That'll about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Leave a comment if you're interested in an AR-15, or if this is something you'd want to do, or if you have any opinions about this gun itself or any of the attachments on it, we'll be glad to answer them to see what you guys think. Also, make sure you go check out all the links in the description. There's a blog. Elliot's in there. Go follow him on Instagram and Twitter. I'm down there. Just make sure you check everything out. And please hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 100 subscribers. We're getting closer every day. This has been the Palmetto AR-15. Not custom gun, but custom attachments. Yeah. So. D -d 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 just subscribe. We appreciate it. If nobody told you today, I love you. Stay blessed and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace.